Hello, I'm Sister Maximilian Marie with the Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist at Bishop Louis Riker Catholic School. In 2021, the United States bishops announced a Eucharistic revival, a nationwide program across dioceses to rekindle devotion to the Eucharist among the faithful. Here at Bishop Louis Riker, we began to look at ways that we, as a Catholic school, could rekindle devotion to the Eucharist among our students, faculty, and families. 85% of young adult Catholics fall away from the faith in college. With this statistic in mind, the 2021 BLR administration and faculty implemented a new schedule for the high school that prioritized our greatest treasures, our students' time and resources. Embedded in the schedule were opportunities for the students' liturgical formation. Since I arrived in 2021, virtual pilgrimages have been a facet of making the students' world a little bigger and their faith more real. Combining my four years of experience in Rome with Google Earth, the students and I have virtually walked in the footsteps of many saints, ancient and modern, visited several sites home to Eucharistic miracles, explored several martyrdom sites, and prayed at the tombs of the apostles. More than once, our virtual pilgrimage ended with, sister, take us to Italy, or please, sister, let's go to Rome. In March of 2023, I decided to see if those hopes could turn into reality. I began to investigate the possibility of a Eucharistic miracle pilgrimage in Italy to thank God for the graces of the Eucharistic revival and usher in the graces of the 2025 Jubilee year. I dreamt of a pilgrimage that would not only include the once-in-a-lifetime Jubilee indulgences and the opportunity to walk through, through the holy doors at the four major basilicas in Rome, but also the rare opportunity to visit sites of Eucharistic miracles and saints of Italy. The Holy House of Loreto, where the Word was made flesh. The Eucharistic miracles of Lanciano and Siena. The Veil of Manapello the Eucharistic Saints of Assisi and Siena, and the Eucharistic miracle of Orvieto, where St. Thomas Aquinas was inspired to write the Eucharistic hymns of Corpus Christi. Working with a friend in Michigan, Mr. John Hale of Corporate Travel, we came up with a perfect pilgrimage for a really tight budget. They were even willing to cut their profit margin so as to make it possible for our students to successfully raise the necessary funds. However, after a few days of prayer, we decided that it was not the prudent time for a pilgrimage. It seemed irresponsible when more essential funds were necessary for the school facilities and tuition assistance. The Holy Spirit had other plans. Just two days after packing up my hopes for a pilgrimage and setting them back on the shelf, I received in my mailbox a packet from Mrs. Shirley Jansing with a short note. Let me know if there's anything we can use this for. It was from the Scanlon Foundation inviting all Catholic high schools in Texas to apply for a $100,000 Eucharistic Revival Grant. The purpose of the grant was to support educational efforts meant to deepen the appreciation of the Eucharist among high school students. A requirement of the grant was to send student representatives to the July 2024 National Eucharistic Congress in Indiana. The deadline was less than two weeks away. Mrs. Jansing and I got to work filling out the paperwork, creating a budget, and crafting a script for the required video. Therein, I communicated the school-wide opportunities for Eucharistic and liturgical formation embedded in the 2022-23 schedule. I shared sample lesson plans and photos from our Secrets of the Last Supper exhibition, the fruit of the focus study, and culminating projects showcasing the Jewish roots of the Eucharist. I included details about our virtual pilgrimages and our study of the Shroud of Turin. For what exactly was I requesting to use the grant? First, an in-state all-school Eucharistic revival pilgrimage in spring 2023. Second, a small group national pilgrimage to the Eucharistic Revival Congress in Indiana 2023. And third, partial funds for 40 individuals to participate in an international Eucharistic miracle pilgrimage in the church's Jubilee year of 2025. We prayed, wrote, recorded, prayed some more, and then sent the proposal on the eve of the deadline and then awaited the July decision. 
I enlisted the class of 2025 and 26 to join me in praying that this once in a lifetime opportunity for our students would be made possible only if it was God's will bearing lasting fruit in the lives of all BLR faculty, staff, students, and families. Even if the grant was not awarded to our school, it was my prayer that all of these efforts still communicated one thing, that the Eucharist is the most important reality in our lives. In July, I received word that the board of directors needed through September to review the proposals. On September 14th, the Feast of the Holy Cross, I received a call from the Scanlon Foundation. I was told that on October 7th, the Feast of the Holy Rosary, otherwise known as Our Lady of Victory, we will be receiving a letter announcing the winner of the grant. It has been confirmed that enclosed with the letter will be a check for $100,000 issued to Bishop Lewis Riker Catholic School. Yes, I'm pleased to announce that our proposal was accepted and BLR has been chosen for the $100,000 grant. I'm so grateful to the Scanlon Foundation for this honor. I truly believe that this exciting opportunity will breathe life into the existing initiatives and curriculum already in motion and the various opportunities to encounter Christ's presence will be embraced on a lasting and personal level. These funds are to be applied to three BLR Eucharistic Revival pilgrimages. First, the entire student body is invited to participate in a local pilgrimage to St. Mary's College Station in the spring. Second, we will make available six scholarships for students to attend the July 2023 Eucharistic Congress in Indiana. And third, in January of 2025, Father Chris Smith, Sister Maria Benedicta, Mr. Matt Clafferty, and I will be taking the classes of 2025 and 26, our current juniors and sophomores, to Italy for a Eucharistic Miracles and Saints pilgrimage. For each of these pilgrimages, essential details will be communicated in the following weeks. For the international pilgrimage to Italy, there will be an information night for all parents and students regarding the details of the pilgrimage the application process, requirements, costs, and timeline. Stay tuned. To conclude, it is exciting to think that when the majority of our current students graduate, their entire high school experience will have been shaped by the Eucharistic revival. Perhaps we will begin to see more young people faithfully attending Sunday Mass and even going to daily Mass. Perhaps we will see more students making chapel visits more often and an increase in Marian devotion. Perhaps these efforts will bear fruit in vocations for the church, college students who remain faithful and holy marriages. For all these reasons and more, please keep these pilgrimages in your prayers as we prepare to renew our devotion to the Eucharist through these wonderful opportunities over the next two years. Please keep in your prayers of gratitude the Scanlon Foundation his Eminence, Daniel Cardinal DiNardo, and all board members, living and deceased, as well as the amazing and generous team at Corporate Travel. On this feast of the Guardian Angels, I close with a prayer for the safety of all travelers, and most especially for our future pilgrims. Indeed, we are all pilgrims on a journey to the Father's heart. Please join me in praying. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule, to guide. Amen. All our guardian angels, pray for us.